What's up? Welcome back to another Twin Motion video. In this video, we're looking at another path tool. We're looking at the bicycle path. Very simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's it's bicycles. If you've seen the others, you're kind of familiar with the way they work. Bicycle path is very similar. Before we get into the video, if you do happen to like the video or just, you know, if you learn something, that's kind of the goal of this, then if you wouldn't mind please demolishing that like button. It really helps me out a lot. So jumping right into it now, let's go to our context tab. I'll go to paths, bicycle path. And then now once again, we are prompted with only the pen tool. It's very simple. I now have the pen. I choose where I'm going to locate the first point of this bicycle path. I've made a specific path here for a bicycle and I will just begin to place my points here, just like we've seen in other videos, the path, it's very simple. Place this where it needs to go. I'm going to all the way to the end here. We'll get this entire path covered with bicycles here in just a second. So that looks great. I've got my path. I can now see that my properties are here and we can see that the path is also populated with cyclists. This is great. This is what we want so at this point. My settings here, they're, they're very similar to the vehicle path. If you saw that video, I've got the option of two lanes or one lane, and it's just one way or the other, having both on, having just one. Two lanes, just like that, makes perfect sense. You can see my lane offset is set to zero, so there, again, is some default value between this uh, one side, or one lane and the other, much like the vehicle path. As I increase this lane offset, I'm going to see the value increase here, as well as the distance between the cyclists and each lane increasing. And that makes sense. It is nice that they are following the path. This is a 10 foot path. So with zero offset, this 10 foot area feels great. It, it works one lane or two lanes works all the same. Again, density is exactly what it looks like. The greater the density, the more people, the more cyclists I have on this path. My gosh, I hope you help, don't have this many people stuck on this path. That would be bad. Finally, speed. Again, this is really nice that there's actually a miles per hour to this and it is fairly accurate. I would hope there are not this many people riding at this speed, this close to each other, but nonetheless, you can make it happen. It does work. And if, we saw on the vehicle tracking that reverse would just flip them. Like one lane goes to the other and it, there, there's a right hand turn, like which is the default, the way you actually ride on the right side, which is the exact same for the bike, bicycle path. If I reverse this, then now everyone is left side. Is they're on the left side? They're riding on the left. So if you want them to ride on the left, use that reverse. I can't see a world where you would want that, at least in the world that I'm in. So I'd probably leave that that reverse off. And then it's just a matter of getting these settings the way, the way you want them to be for your bicycle path. It, it, it is pretty simple. It is essentially the exact same as the vehicle path that I, you could check out my previous video on that if you need more details on that. Again, it's very similar to that. So go watch that, get that down. And this is, this is just bicycles. You know, you don't, unfortunately don't have the option to choose different cyclists. That's too bad, it's unfortunate, it doesn't matter. Different types of bikes would be nice, but nonetheless, it's very easy to get cyclists on a path. And for what I'm probably using this for, I'm I'm probably keeping it pretty low, probably like 10%, you know, a, bike, uh, a cyclist here and there. I think it looks great. You know, the speed, speed option's nice, lane offset, you can get it to look exactly the way you want. So that will do it for the bicycle path. It, it's pretty simple, hope you understand. If not, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I will be sure to answer that for you. So please stick around for other Twin Motion videos. And honestly, if you if you learned something or just happen to like the video, please again demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you would please consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing, that would really help me out. And if you stuck around this long, you're awesome. You are the best. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.